Rambo here for another exciting edition of Fix and Stuff. Today we're working on the iPhone 6S Plus front camera replacement. So as always we start by removing the two T10 pentalobe safety screws. That's a lot of jargon you don't need to know. Just remove the screws to the left and the right of the lightning charger port with your Apple. One and two. Perfect. Now when you open the phone up, there's going to be adhesive that holds it together. It's They uh, keep out the dust and rain and all that other gross stuff that your phone gets into. So the first thing we're going to do though is put our spudger in there and we're going to pry apart carefully the display assembly from the frame. Then we're going to put a plastic piece. It can be a chip or a tool just in between there. And we're going to slide it back and forth. And that will just separate the frame from the display assembly. You don't want to just get in there and rip it apart. You actually do want to go around all the edges, uh, except the top where the camera is. So if you'll see, we went around three of the four edges. The next thing we're going to do is just crack this sucker open only to 90 degrees. You see how I didn't flip it all the way back? Yeah, I didn't do that because that breaks it, and that would be pretty stupid. So, this little metal piece here is called just call it a metal piece. It's got five screws. I'm currently taking them out there. And what this does, it protects your flex cables and your connections to your logic board. So this is like the brain of the phone. Uh, if you have Verizon, chances are this is already broke on you. They have a defective phone that they'll never admit to because then they'd have to pay you. All right, now just pop that little shield off and you'll see a bunch of connections. So you're just going to go in there and you're going to pop them off. They come apart like Legos would come apart. Click, 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 click. And one more, bam. Now we're going to set the display assembly to side and the camera's on top there. You're going to remove this shield. It's three little screws, pretty darn easy. One, a two. And finally, the third one. So once the heat shield's off, you're going to reveal kind of a loose-fitting assembly there. And the one piece that's going to pop right out is the speaker for the phone. So take that out, set it aside. It uh, doesn't vibrate separately from the phone, so don't get any ideas. Then you're just going to get something underneath there. We use tweezers, and you're just going to pop the camera out. It'll snap right out. Sometimes the little plastic pieces need to be replaced on the new display assembly, so you would just take them off the old one and put them on the new one. And that's literally it to it. If you have any questions, you can go to thecelllab.com. You can schedule a free FaceTime, or you can uh, look up another tutorial if you want, you jerk. It's a free country. Have a great day.